Hey everybody and welcome to Shenanigans. Rob, you are going to be our DM today, so I'm going to let I you handle indeed. all the introductions and everything. Alright, excellent. So, we're going to hear a little bit about each person's characters. We have some characters that people might not have seen for a while. We have some people you might not have seen for a while, so we'll have each of them introduce themselves. And there's an added thing that I need each person to do when you introduce your character. I want you to rate them on a whimsy scale of one ten. <laughs> a scale of whimsy and wonder. Assume that five is like a normal person who accepts technology in their day, yet they still have lucky numbers for the lottery and believe in angels. Consider eight is like a standard child who uh, is totally confident that the Loch Ness Monster, everything, absolutely all these things exist. And 10, think like the little prince or the genie from Aladdin. Okay, just like absolute living in whimsy. On the opposite scale going down, assume like a, a three, say is like a Catholic nun with a ruler as far as the non-whimsy, going all the way down to at the bottom with fictional characters that would be a one, people that are not whimsical at all, like Darth Vader or Piers Morgan. Okay, that sounds awesome. Who starts? So uh, let's see how the overlay looks here. So it looks like we have a Ryan next to me here. Yep. So why don't you start us off? Okay, so I am playing Mr. Necessities, Bear Necessities. He is a ranger. Um, yes, he is a ranger. He just came back into civilization. He's trying to learn how these humans actually interact with each other. Um, he did a pretty good job on his first time out. Um, you know, he helped, he helped deliver a really important letter. And uh, I think on the whimsy scale, he can kind of, I think based on his mood, he can fluctuate from anywhere between a four to a seven. So I think he has a little bit of a range just kind of based on like what he, his personality is at the time. Cause I think he can have mm -hmm. some slight shifts in personality based on his appearance. Okay. Let's see, so that would make Neil next. I am playing Artie. He is a gnome cleric of Ephra, the goddess of um, inspiration and art. Uh, unfortunately, he is a terrible, terrible cleric. His second lowest stat is willpower. He's got a 20% chance of failing any spells he casts. Um, this is because he's drunk all the time and is just really bad at inspiring people. He doesn't really care... He does it because it's his like that's his talent and that's what his kind of purpose in life is, but he's not really good at inspiring people. You could say he's not inspired to do his job. Um, that said, he is a, a little bit of a goofball. I would put him around like a, a six or maybe a seven on the whimsy scale, uh, unless he drinks too much and then sometimes he gets kind of dark and drops down to like a three. But when he's sober, he's that. Oh, and because he's a gnome, he tries to rhyme everything he does, but he's also kind of a drunk, so he doesn't always manage to rhyme everything properly. That's a good out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard rhyming. It is. All right, that takes us over to Ryan. The other Ryan. Yeah, Ryan number two. Ryan number one. Yeah, you were here first. <laughs> um, I have a new character this week. Uh, I am playing as a large, stocky, gray-skinned humanoid with a hippopotamus-like head. Uh, I am armed to the teeth and wearing some semblance of a military uniform. Uh, you can call me the captain. Uh, in terms of whimsy, I think I'm low on the scale, like a, there's a three and none, maybe a four, but I have a okay. deep, deep distrust of, of magic and whimsy in general. Okay, and so that takes us to Greg. 
I will be playing for you today, Iwini. Uh, she is the daughter of some minor noble in the area. Um, I don't really know the nobles here, so I didn't give her a last name. Uh, she's kind of fed up with the whole dresses and riding and, you know, doing normal things. She wants to go out and adventure and see the world. And so she's run off with her trusty horse, Melangar, and looking for people to uh, go out and adventure with. She sounds like she's probably played by Liv Tyler or something. <laughs> Very potentially, yes. Um, on a scale of whimsy, I would say she's probably like a, can I say a six and a half, right? Like she's yeah. transitioning from being a young child to being a young woman, but still, you know, has that kind of childlike whimsy a little bit. Okay. And that takes us to Margaret. Hi. So I will be playing Ruby, and if any of you guys have uh, watched some of my other RP sessions on other streams, you may you may recognize her. She's a reincarnation of her in second edition. Uh, but she is a halfling bard, and she's got red hair and green eyes. She is, um, I don't know why you put lawful evil, but she's not lawful evil. Uh, that was on your other character sheet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I thought you were trolling me. I'm like, I guess. That's, that's what um, that explain a lot about Ruby, though. But it maybe it would. Uh, she is like this adorable little like ball of energy, and um, she is kind of out for an adventure and telling stories. And her big thing is like she loves instruments and playing music, so she will make a song about anything. And uh, probably at inappropriate times, since we're on shenanigans this time around. That won't um, fit in here at all. And she, she might make some songs that uh, might be a, a little... Song? That might be a little whimsical? Uh, on the scale of whimsical, she is like, you know, maxed out. She's probably like yeah. you know, 10 out of 10 um, bongos. I don't know. But she's, she's definitely all about it. She believes in all the things she... She wants to see all the things. So if, if there's ever an opportunity to have curiosity be at her side, she will she will be checking it out, that's for sure. <laughs> okay. And Justin. Hi guys. I'm playing Darth Umbra, who uh, is a frightening, frightening character that wears a helmet some sort of strange device on his head. So you never actually see his face. He's constantly covered in small shreds of darkness. So you never really see his body. For all we know, he's naked. We don't, we just don't know. There is a, there's a cloak and he breathes like this. <laughs> just constantly, constantly. So it's always there. Should hear him snore. Um, <laughs> on a whimsy scale, I want to say he's a one, but he he he's a wizard and he casts spells. So I feel like well, that's... Darth Vader was a space wizard. Yeah, not... yeah, that's fair. I think it's got to be a one. He's a one. Okay. <laughs> All right. So are we ready to, to roll here? Um, number one. I just realized, yeah. <laughs> Justin, you've actually played with my other character, Ruby. I have. Yeah, so <laughs> that's funny. All right. All right, Rob, it's all you. All right. So you guys are walking up to shenanigans to have your morning alcohol because you're not at all alcoholics. Not at all. Never. And you can see there's a big old commotion around shenanigans today. Uh, in fact, not one, but two commotions. Commotion number one is you see all kinds of kids running all around shenanigans, laughing and talking. And I'm saying their, their calf muscles are built up like footballs. Okay. And all these kids running around. And in the back, like maybe from the stables, you hear another commotion, which sounds like a lot of adult um, voices that are like cheering and excited. And you hear some other strange sounds coming from back there. This seems like a good spot to fun. Quickly, let's run around the back. And I do just that. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I push my way through the crowd and try and get a look at whatever this commotion is or these commotions. Have, well, have we switched places commotion? or are there the child races? 
Which, which commotions? The the commotions of the kids or the adults shouting back towards the stables? Stables. I'm going to head towards the adults because children yeah, have no interest. Yeah. I'm also yeah. going to head towards the stables. Also heading to the adults. The adults. Okay. And she's going to make so it. So there are only different bridges. What? All right. <laughs> So you head back to the stables, and you can see uh, it looks like a whole bunch of people have crowded into the stables, maybe about a dozen adults. Many of them are holding small dogs or roosters or various animals, and they seem to be crowded around one stable stall. They're all, like, kind of leaning in, like, yeah, yeah, get them, get them. Peering over the wall of the stall, can I see what's going on in there? Uh, yeah, you can see that a terrier is fighting a rooster. And people are like, yeah, I got him, got him. I got money on this. This looks a bit grisly. <laughs> can I see? Because I'm kind of tiny. Yeah, you are a bit short. Someone um, will have to, is it, you're a halfling, you said, right? Yeah, I'm two, like, I'm two feet, seven inches. Yeah, we got a number of shorties in this party. They can't see a thing. Rump, is it sunny out today? Yes, or is it cloudy? It's, a sunny, it's a beautiful okay. sunny morning. Cool. Uh, I try and squeeze between people's legs and get up real close. Is Desmond just, here? Do I, be, do I see Desmond anywhere? No, you don't. Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, and you see uh, those of you who are tall enough who had squeezed up to the front, you can see the um, uh, the rooster is like pecking away at the dog and manages to like blind it in one eye and then the little terrier manages to grab the rooster by the throat and it's just like thrashing it around and finally manages to tear the head off. Guys, I think we found our 18 plus RPG. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so too. <laughs> They're like, ah. Oh. And you see, like, a, a woman that comes up next, like, it's Mr. Barkington's turn. It's Mr. Barkington's turn. I get the next battle. This is quite a strange display here. Is this what you common folks do for entertainment? I don't know. I can't see anything. Can someone help me? Here, here. I, like, lift you up and put you on my no. shoulder. No. <laughs> like a child. No. <laughs> and, the, and the woman uh, steps up. It's the stall. They open the door for her. And she goes, oh, Mr. Barkington, I know you're going to do so well. You're my best friend. I love you. And she puts Mr. Barkington into the stall with the other uh, little terrier. Why would you do yeah, such a thing to your best friend? I just can't <laughs> understand it. What do you mean? You're going to let it fight this other dog? You saw what happened to the poor rooster. I mean, what, what on earth would possess you to do that to someone you call your friend? Mr. Barkington loves this. That's what they're for, these these little pets. Okay, I see. Okay. So yeah, like, hey, yeah. <laughs> go! And then they he's out, go, and then the dogs start fighting, and you know, it's just fur flying and and barking and growling and snipping and like teeth latching onto necks and after a little while Mr. Barkington goes down, passed out. I'm going to go inside really oh. yeah. I'm going to go uh, try and find Desmond and all this. See if uh, this has been officially sanctioned. I'm actually going to go out to the front where the kids are. Okay. So you see the kids all, they're just running around. They are just having the best time of their lives. And you can see they're all holding little crystal balls, little mini-sized crystal balls. Okay, I'm gonna stop one of the kids, mm -hmm. uh, like just uh, hand on the shoulder and say, "What's that you got there?" This? Oh, I'm playing, I'm playing Pouchimon. <laughs> Pouchimon, what's that? It's like you get these little crystal balls that, that fit in your belt pouch. And then you search around for for monsters and you gather them up so they can fight. And shenanigans is like the best gym ever. We're trying to get in to catch them. <laughs> if one of these kids tries to catch me. <laughs> 
Right. <laughs> that sounds like the dumbest thing ever. And I have seen some dumb things. Uh, no, this is, it's awesome. Everybody's doing it. Can you... Uh, wait, is is uh, a riot? Are you up here too? Yeah, I, I think riot? I'm nearby. I was trying yeah. to get inside of shenanigans okay. to talk to Desmond, so I probably am nearby. Okay, me. here, let me let me see it. Let a, me cu- see a, it. a couple of them are looking up at you, and they're like trying to do stuff in the crystal balls. Like, I think that's a hit potato. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, uh, are, if those things are people's homes, please tell me they don't work on gnomes. What? Oh no! Don't be silly. They all, they only work on <gasps> on on pouchy monsters. What? What's a pouchy monster? A pouchy monster? They're the best. Oh my god! There are so many different kinds you can choose from, and you catch all the different kinds, and you gotta catch them all. My favorite is sock. <laughs> <laughs> but but what is one? What do you, what do you mean? They're 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 like monsters, and you catch them, and then you make them fight. Mr. Barkington doesn't look like a monster. You look who's just Mr. like who's Mr. Barkington? <laughs> these, these, these are the kids you're talking to. Sure, sure. Uh, they're, they're not part of the the dog fighting and rooster fighting and cock fighting all uh, out there. All right. I shake my head and go inside and order a drink. Yeah. I think okay. I'm already in there, drinking away the confusion. Is gonna, Desmond around today? Really so while, while you Barkington, I want to take one of the crystal balls from one of the kids. Hey, that's fine. <laughs> I paid for that. Here, I'll put like ten gold in his hand, and then I'm gonna say, I want to see what all the fuss is about. No, but all all my pouchamon are in there. Well, now they're my pouchamon. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not fair. I've got like a level fifty-seven foxy. I don't even know what that is yet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I probably won't like this, so if I don't, I'll give it back. But I just want to see what all the commotion is about. Oh my god, he stole! He stole my! my and I'm, I'm, gonna walk, I'm gonna walk into the bar. After that. <laughs> okay, and you can see that when. Um, uh, the big gif went into the bar. Like three kids, you know, tried to like hide behind his bulk and sneak in behind him, and seemed to have successfully did. And you can see inside, Desmond is just having a fit. There's like kids peeking down from the upstairs. Oh, they have their little crystal balls out, and they're they're looking. And there's other kids that are like hiding in a back booth, trying not to be seen. Pointing, oh, there's one over there. And you can see that uh, Layla, her, uh, you know, she looks like she's supposed to be working today. She's got a tray, but it's just sitting on the counter along with her wizard books. And she's got out a little crystal ball. And she and she and some other, uh, one of the other kids are like doing stuff on their crystal ball together. Oh. And Deb's like, get out! I'm over, I'm over by Desmond. Long time no see, old friend. This, this is a not d- a good time. Double whiskey. Looks like you could use a bouncer. I definitely, definitely. Can, can you take care of these kids? Can you get them out of here? Does he serve me a drink? <laughs> uh, I was like, first get rid of the kids, and then you can have all, all the all the all the whiskeys you want. I don't think that's how bars usually work, but... Well, that's how it works today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess I assume a more professional demeanor and start kicking kids out of the bar. Okay. I didn't uh, non-lethal that. damage, of course. You don't know about that? So you're just, like, beating out of them? Uh, picking them up and throwing them out the door. Okay. I, I guess I see. I that. only have. I actually. I have movement six, so I probably chase after children and am unable to catch any. I, I see the kids are getting flung around, and I think that's very normal for human behavior, seeing as that's what happened on my last journey into human. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll, I'll grab. I want to grab two kids at the same time and just fling them out the door. 
All right. Uh, so go ahead and make uh, some attack rolls, you guys. Everybody okay. wants to throw kids. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't want to throw kids. <laughs> It came to the wrong show then, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, that was the first place you went. <laughs> so this is the hidden Not place. lowering them outside with candy. And this Not. is the left hand. So I think I should right. grab two kids. manages to grab two different kids. Okay. And I then... actually have two weapon fighting, don't I? I can dual wield children. <laughs> 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 the is the best. <laughs> okay, the captain. Okay, I catch one. All right. So, like, the first one runs between the captain's legs. Oh, look at Uzo! And the captain manages to grab another one. Mr. Bear Necessities has uh, two, so you caught these kids. Yeah, I'm throwing them out at the other. I I'm actually throwing them so that they hit other kids outside. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, make an attack roll to hit another child. Okay. With a child. Are you so, proficient in child? <laughs> I should be after last session. I, I don't think I am yet. So let's you see. can take that as a proficiency. Yeah, child throwing. I, I might have to if I keep going like this. Okay, so let's see. Is this going to be... What, what's my modifier on throwing a child to hit another child? Uh, we'll give you a minus two because you're not proficient. Okay. All right. So you throw it at one of the children. Uh, you know what? They're not wearing any armor. It lands on the other child. The child goes down. So that was the was child in my right hand. Balls. Yeah, they're little crystal balls. Yeah. Like drop to the street and go rolling. Yeah. And then this is the, the left. And I, I just fail throwing this child. Okay. All right, so you throw the child. It, like, you're off a little bit. It runs into, like, one of the posts holding up the, <laughs> the little thing over the front door. It's shenanigans there. And then, like, and the kid looks all, all dizzy for a second. All right. I and then gently he gets up. It's like, ah, oh, ugh. Oh, I feel like last week that would have, like, knocked me out, but I just feel so fit and strong this, this <laughs> last week. I gently set my kid outside and growl, growl at the bowling pin children. Oh, get lost, kids. This is a bar. You must have more in common with the Buddha. Here, let me remove them with my tuba and... I pull out my large, kind of battered, broken down tuba and start. You have a tuba? I have a tuba. Uh, I have a check of 11. Because, like, old person music! Ah! I think the kids matter. Oh, yeah. 14. Clear the bar. Oh, it's bad. That's it's, not a good bad. tuba. All right, so you managed to clear the bar with, with the polka. <laughs> Badly played polka. I think it needs some Which tuning. is every polka. Hey, now. Weird Al has some great polka. <laughs> All right. So Desmond's like, oh, thank God you got them out of here. But here, here's your your whiskeys. You you deserve, you, you all deserve a free drink for that one. Ah, all in a day's work. Delicious. And and Layla, get get that get get them the drinks. Put that thing down and get them some drinks. She's like, oh, Dad, I'm trying to catch the stare at you. I'm a little bit busy right now. She's like, No, you're supposed to be working. She's like, oh, No, I've got to catch it. It's kind of rare. And they don't come here all the time, and I've got to get it now. And she's like, Ugh. I was like, do you see what I'm dealing with? Do you see this whole town is going to hell? These kids are doing activities that I didn't do when I was a kid, and <laughs> therefore, they're wrong. <clears throat> Looks like a whole load of sorcery they're to me. They're confusing and wrong. <laughs> 
What's going on with the, the pit fighting thing? I'm still there for the record. Yeah, I'm still there as well. Oh, so over there, so like after Mr. Barkington goes down and and the, the woman goes, don't worry, Mr. Barkington. We'll, you'll, I'll heal you up and, and you'll do better next time. And then... Um, Did the owner of the rooster that has had its head ripped off try and retrieve the rooster? <laughs> Yeah, he's looking kind of sadly at the rooster, and he's also saying, "Don't worry. After you get better, <laughs> <laughs> how how do you go make him get better? I I just need to know that. Uh I'm 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 not sure. If you I'm, can work I'm, miracles on those animals, that might come very much in handy. Should anything ever happen to my precious melanga, I I I might need to catch another one. I, I just loved this rooster so much. I can't wait to catch another one and make them fight. <laughs> How many people are here watching? There's like a dozen. And they're all holding little pets. One's got like a little fuzzy rabbit. Do they all look like like low-level peasants who maybe have like half a hit dice? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. I cast. Yeah. I cast sleep. Oh, you're gonna get sleep. I mean, is that not not good? So for half a hit dice, does that take out eight, or what is that? Yeah, it would take out eight. All right. So eight of them drop down to the ground. The other four, like, what? What? What happened? What's going on? And the eight that drop to the ground, they're they're little animals. Like crawl from their arms and are kind of looking around. I'm gonna go pick up all the animals that are on the ground. Okay, while you're doing that, you see the uh, the dog that took out Mr. Barkington yeah. runs over and grabs the rabbit by the throat and starts and thrashing around. And then and there's a little raccoon that like runs and starts like gnawing on um, a little pigeon that somebody had. <laughs> So, so how many can I save? Uh, tell you what, let make go ahead and make um, uh, make make an attack roll to like snatch them from the jaws of the other creatures. All right, I'm looking for this guy here. And since they're just little animals, I'll let you roll if you're successful a D four to see how many you grab. I don't know where my, I don't know where the um, Your first level says so just going to be a flat d20. No modifier. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, you totally fail. Like, every time you're about to reach for one, you see, like, the rabbit's getting thrashed. Like, like, oh no, the rabbit! You start moving over for the rabbit, and you see the little pigeon there, and then a rooster comes over and starts pecking it. You're like, ah, the pigeon! You start going for that one, and then you're just like, ah! And just so many little pet emergencies all around you that you never quite get to one of them. Okay. She's getting like really frustrated. Uh, Are there only like a couple of these more like violent animals? Like there's a raccoon and a rooster and a like pretty beat up dog. Are the rest of them fairly docile? You feel like they've all been trained to fight. Yeah. Or that, or that fighting is all they know. Okay. Then maybe their entire lives are just fighting and sleeping and then fighting some more. <laughs> Sounds like you're describing a D&D &D character. <laughs> All right, so what else do you do over there? I, I start shooing the animals away. Just like grab them and, or not even grab them, but like boot them the foot. <laughs> Shoo, shoo. All right. Um, tell you what, you're pretty intimidating. I'll let you make a charisma check to see if you're able to intimidate these animals all away with your heavy breathing and your foodiness. <laughs> yeah. All right. Darth Umbra sends them all scattering. I wonder if this is a sanctioned thing. Perhaps we should go and discuss it with the proprietor of this establishment. One of the guys said, what are, you, what are you talking about? What's wrong with this? We're just, 
We just have little creatures that we love and we make them fight each other until they pass out or un unconscious. Well, I'm sure if it's a legally sanctioned operation, then uh, there's nothing wrong with it at all, but perhaps we need to figure out if that is the case. Legal Schmeagle, let them fight the beagle! <laughs> Do you consider so, that if Desmond doesn't like this, he might just bite you? What, what's, what's wrong with this? I don't see anything wrong with this. We love these little creatures. They're our best friends, and we want to make them fight each other. But We, but, we, we train them and take care of them. But if Desmond doesn't want you doing it in his stable, you might end up as a smelly little spot of soot somewhere. Fine, we'll go do it somewhere else. That was exactly my point. <laughs> all right, all right. You take a hit. They're like kicking the people that have fallen down. <laughs> <laughs> so inside, when, when Layla delivers our drinks, okay. uh, I'll, I'll try and get a look at her little gemstone. Yeah, right, I, I want to ask you. Where did you get this, this, this device? Okay, so it's a little crystal ball that fits in your palm. Hmm. I'm going to pull out the one I took from the kid, and I'll say, how does this thing work? I'll lean in and shout, you know, the National Scrying Agency can watch everything you do while you carry that thing. She <laughs> 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 so goes like, oh, just because it has the eye doesn't mean it's actually watching you. It's just called an iPhone. Well, they're not literally watching, but they're recording everything you do. Everywhere you go, every every pokier pocker man you catch. Oh my God! There's no way they're watching. They don't know anything about us from this. I gotta put this on my Facebook that I just caught an arbor. There we go. Cool. What's a Facebook? A Facebook? Oh, it's something that's been really cool. They invented it. At, at Hogwarts, and it's like magic book. Magic. Yes. And everybody's got a page in it, and then everybody gets one of these books, and you can see like pictures of the people, and then it updates your status. Well, I certainly don't have a page. <sighs> Obviously. Old. Oh my God, I think I need a page. Can you show me this magic Facebook? Yeah, I'm going to make my way. I'm going to be like, all this running around made me thirsty. I'm going to go back. And I'm going to go back to the tavern. Yeah, I think. Okay. Party reunites at this point. Okay, well, so the party's and, all and inside. Is the party. Darth yeah. Yeah. Umbra is your name? Yep. I'm going to be like, next time you could take one of the animals and give it to me, that would be great. And then I walk away. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to scare them away with all your weird breathing. God. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And then I just walk away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Desmond's like, Layla, just get up and study and clean your room. And maybe like climb a tree or hang from the barn rafters or like play with knives or something instead of just wasting your time with that. Ah, you know what? It's a good thing we're having a meeting tonight to take care of these things in the early in the early evening you know um lizzie and i were were watching a play yesterday we got this idea i think it was called loose feet or something and it was something about how all the parents got together and had this great idea where they had a meeting and they got rid of stuff that was distracting the children from what they should be doing we didn't stay till the end, but I think it's a really good idea. And, and we're going to have a meeting just like that tonight. And we're going to ban these things throughout the town. I still don't even get what the point of these things are. And I'm still holding the crystal ball in my... I can't figure out how it works, so I'm just going to throw I, it over I just walked shoulder. in, and um, I'm going to snatch the ball out of... What's what's your character's name, Ryan? Uh, Mr. Barrington. Okay, Mr. Mr. Barrington. Sorry, Mr. Necessities. <laughs> okay. Yes. Mr. Ne <laughs> Mr. Bear Necessities. Yes. Uh, All right. So, 
So you snatch it from. Uh, I'm gonna snatch it from him and be like, "So what's uh, what are you doing with this, bear?" So bards have an innate chance to okay. identify magic items based on the lore surrounding them. Yeah. So um, but she may ha- she may know what it does. Uh, I'm not sure. It just seems to be causing pandemonium with all those kids out there. No okay. way. This is so cool. Don't you know anything? And I, I like, like, kind of look around and do, can I find something like a? Do I see any monsters or anything around? Yeah. So, so Mr. Necessities wasn't able to see anything. It was just like a little piece of crystal for him. Yeah. Um, for you, you see. I think it's only five like, percent per level, but she she may know some. some well, more. she sees like a little eye inside, and there's like little icons all around it that she can touch. And one um, has like a picture of a pouch <laughs> on it, and that one is is blinking. But, but those of us that are less whimsical look over and don't see any of these icons. Okay. I'm gonna no, I'm gonna collect the pouch that's blinking. Okay, so you you click it, and then all of a sudden, as you're looking around, you can see tons of strange little creatures. There's like five of them in this room. And there's like um, just all kinds of things. Like one of them is, um, let's see, like a little yellow, uh, like a little yellow mouse thing okay. with uh, black stripes. There's there's another one that's um, looks like a little frog type man looking up, and it's it's um, kind of looking around like. Arr! What what level are what level are the differences between them? Uh, you're looking the little frog dude is like maybe a level five. The little uh, yellow mouse one is a level fifteen. Oh my god! There's a level fifteen. Look at it! Look at it! And I'm like showing bare bare necessities. Isn't he cute? Okay, I got to catch him. Do you know the song? It's so cool. And she's like singing it. She starts going like. Poke, Pochemon, I gotta catch them all. Do you know it? It's so cool. It's like the best song ever. And then <laughs> she starts like trying to like catch the. <laughs> I lean down to the to the gnome and asked, "Have you heard of the song before?" <laughs> I have Can heard you many play songs. It on your <laughs> I've heard many a song, but nothing this wrong. I, I just think the. Whole I thing hope it doesn't go on for too long. All right, so Rosie, you're trying to figure out this this thing you've never done before. Go ahead and make an intelligence roll. Ruby, Ruby, sorry. (laughs) (laughs) So go ahead and make an intelligence roll. Roll a d20 and add your intelligence as you try to just intuit this out. All right. Um, Are we doing modifiers? Yeah, so a a d20 plus your intelligence, and you're trying to get a 21 or more. Okay. Well, my intelligence is 10. I don't know what the modifiers are on here. So, for... so just, just, just add, add, add 10. Oh, just add 10. Two is real yeah. simple. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you feel like it's kind of intuitive. You figure it out. And you manage to, uh, after two tries, catch the uh, the little mouse type pouch demon. Okay. Oh, my gosh. We caught him. Look how easy that was. It was so cool. Here you go. She hands, she hands him the she hands him back the ball. I uh, say. So what do you have for wine? She puts her like she puts her arms on the table on the bar, but she can barely reach it. She's really t- tiny. I say, you I've got this wonderful food. breed. It's made from lime. Lime wine. Lime wine. <laughs> it's quite fine. Here. She takes it and she just like chugs it. <laughs> <laughs> And then she hands it back to you. I he he doesn't even work here. That that's that was all my wine. I I have no more for quite some time. I don't have a spell ready to to brew another batch. Well, why'd you hand it to me if you didn't want me to drink it? To have a sip. You, you did didn't wit? say to have a sip. You just said it was great and you gave it to me, so I drank it. I, uh, 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 well, what is done is done. Let's. Might as well go out and have some fun. Let me see that okay. ball there. <laughs> What's this right. thing with all that hair? I want to ask Desmond if he has any more information on the source of these things. 
Who made all of the arcane artifacts? Surely there is some nefarious wizard out there manufacturing these things to keep track of our children. I I think they're they're getting them from some I'm not sure where actually. I gave I gave Layla her allowance and then she came back with this. I don't know. You, you maybe you should ask her. Mm. You can find a way to get rid of them all, this plague upon our town. Yes, it's very, very unbearable, all these children running around. This is different. It doesn't make any sense at all. Um, how potent is the whatever you gave me? Uh, it's normal strength wine. Oh, okay. it, was a, it was like a liter of it. Okay. Half liter. So that's almost a bottle. Yeah, yeah that's pretty much a bottle. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess I'll go bug Layla again, although maybe one of the more childish looking folk would blend in better with the children. What are you trying to say? I mean... (laughs) (laughs) It's just like, I mean... uh... (laughs) All right. So I guess I'll... Is Layla still in in the common room? Uh... Actually, you see her, she's sneaking out of the kitchen, kind of looking over at Desmond, and it looks like she's got a big hunk of Gouda in her hand, and she's kind of like looking around the room carefully. So I don't know if you want to go up to her. It looks like she's trying to like kind of sneak around the, the exterior of the room. She's like sneaking out the back of the, back of the kitchen? Cheryl? Uh, no, she came out of the kitchen. She's kind of like looking around the room, trying to look like she's, looks like she's trying not to be noticed by Desmond. And she, I go up and chat and up. she's like looking all around the room, like for things that you can't see. Yeah. Okay, I guess I'll, I'll go walk over to her again then. Young witch, where did you acquire this small orb of spying? Like, wait, hey, hang on, I'm busy. I was, I was trying to catch to stare at you, and I got this cheese for a, for a, for a lure, but now it's, I, I don't know where it is. It was in here, it was like a level 15. I totally wanted to catch it. <laughs> I look around. No one in here is of level 15. You're talking nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a total level 15 stare at you. <laughs> I'm going, uh, while this is going on, I'm going to say to uh, Darth Umbra, wasn't it so much easier when we could just throw kids off the bridge and not have to think about them? Those are the good old days. Yes. Is there a bridge I'm around here? And I'm like, you know, nothing has changed. You can still do that. Just try not to get caught. I think the closest bridge is quite a walk from here. It might be a little bit out of range. I I don't know what's become of this town. It's not the same as when I first arrived. (laughs) Did we kick all the children out? Yeah, you kicked all the children out. Layla's the only one here. You walked up to her, you... You had a brief conversation with her. Yeah. I'll peek out the front door and see if there's another child. Okay. Are they like Uh, on the street or? Yeah, so you look out the front, you see there's just all kinds of children out running, all of them with calves the size of footballs. Um, Like some of them you kind of remember were like, like a little bit chubby and, and overweight, depressed last week. And they're just like, Strapping and running strong, and, and seems to be in much better shape. And I try and flag one around. Hello, yeah. fellow youths. Hang on, I'm not done describing. Oh. And you see, and you see it at, um, across the way. There's like this really stern-looking woman with um, just like little prissy glasses and just wearing like a really stern coat. And she's, you know, her hair is all up and just like an ultra tight, but you're kind of wondering why it's not like pulling her face, her face off her skull, so tight. 
and she has like a, a group of really sad looking children that are you know, in just raggy clothes standing around her. And there's, except for there's one that it looks like she can barely move and they have her in a wagon and she looks kind of sickly. <laughs> and she's like, well, that's enough. You said you wanted to watch the other kids play. So you've done that now. It's time to head back to the orphanage. And they're like, oh. <laughs> and they just kind of like trudge along as the other kids go running happy, cheerfully along. Okay, I don't, I don't care about the orphans. <laughs> <laughs> I wish to hunt and capture pocket monsters with you. Where can I acquire a, a small gemstone? A, a, a gem? What, what do you mean a gemstone? You're just like grabbing one of the kids. It's like, what, what, what are you talking about? Does it have one in its hand? Yeah, with these little crystal balls. This, where did you get this? You mean an iPhone? <laughs> he called it a gemstone. <laughs> He's so old. Yes, yes, I got an it. iPhone. I got it at the toy store in the middle of town. That's yeah. where you get them. Mm. <sighs> you don't even know where to get these. So old. And so right there, we'll go ahead and have our first break as you guys ponder where these things came from and what to do about them. All right, we'll see you guys on the other side of our break. Bye-bye.